Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shots. Someone forwarded this meme recently, an interesting comparison between March 2020 and March 2021. In 2020, the number of COVID cases were low, but our fear was very high. Very high. Now in 2021, the number of COVID cases are very high, but there is no fear. This can be connected to two psychology concepts. The first one is Kubler-Ross model. Whenever there is a tragedy, disaster, accident, death, divorce, or any significant negative event in our life, we all go through five stages. Denial, anchor, bargain, depression, and finally acceptance. I explained this concept in detail in one of my previous wisdom shots. So with respect to the COVID situation, we have reached the acceptance stage, you know, as per this model. So today I want to talk about one more theory of behavioral adaptation. It's called the Pelsman effect. The Pelsman effect is a theory which states that people are more likely to engage in risky behavior when security measures have been mandated. You know, basically people become more careful when they sense greater risk and less careful if they feel more protected. So the Pelsman effect is named after Sam Pelsman. He was, he was a professor of economics at the University of Chicago School of Business. His initial research was on automobile safety. He proved that highway safety regulations did not reduce highway accidental deaths because of something called risk compensation. So it's like this, right? When we introduced seat belts, airbags, disc brake, you know, things like that. The intention was to reduce automobile accidents, right? But based on data analysis, it was found that while the ratio of death went down in accidents, but the number of accidents increased significantly. So according to Pelsman, when safety measures are implemented, people's perception of risk decreases. And people may feel that they can now afford to make riskier decisions. Now, people typically adjust their behavior to the perceived level of risk. And this is exactly what is happening now with COVID vaccination. There's a false sense of security. You know, <laughs> a lot of people have experienced the Pelsman effect even before they took vaccination. Now, they feel protected just by looking at vaccination numbers in the newspaper. Now, let me share with you some vaccination facts. These are from credible sources. I'm sure that most of you know this. Number one, it takes few weeks after the second dose for a full-fledged immunity. Number two, there is no evidence that any of the current COVID-19 vaccines can completely stop people from being infected. In fact, there are cases of people getting COVID after vaccination. Now, however, you know, the chances of getting a severe infection or death are much lower. Number three, after you are vaccinated, it's possible to spread the infection to others without getting the disease yourself. And this is a very important point. Vaccinated people can unknowingly carry and spread pathogens. Number four, clinical research shows that vaccines may work against some variants, but not all. Now, as more and more people are getting vaccinated, people are getting more confident and relaxed in following preventive measures such as wearing a mask, uh, hand hygiene. Hand hygiene, nobody is, nobody is even talking about hand washing, you know, and social distancing. I recently took my mom for COVID vaccination. So in that place, there's absolutely no social distancing. You know, folks with half mask, you know, now, there's a high possibility you may even get COVID from a vaccination center. And it's like wearing helmet, right? So you'll be safe. You may not die from a road accident. But it doesn't mean that you can ride rash and, and harm other people just, be, just because you're protected. So be aware of the Pelsman effect and be more careful. Now, let us follow preventive measures until the effect of vaccination takes us close to the herd immunity. 
I want to share with you one more uh, thing. And I was listening to Dr. Deepak Chopra, one of the world's foremost well-being experts. So he was talking about some papers which got published recently on the relationship between stress and COVID mortality rate. COVID mortality and morbidity is directly linked to stress, panic and sympathetic nervous system overdrive. See, vaccine is one layer of shield, but that's not the only shield. We need to reduce stress from our lives to strengthen our immune system. Things like you know, regular exercise, proper sleep, good nutrition, etc. are you know, very important along with vaccine to protect ourselves from COVID. So acknowledging and understanding the Peltzman effect and taking care of our immunity is critical to win the fight against COVID. You know, a lot depends on what we do in the coming weeks and months. Thank you so much for watching. Stay strong, stay safe.